Hey everybody, it's Sleeve, and now I'm in South Jersey, and I'll get into that a little later. But before we get this party started, you know what to do. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, that way you know when new content is dropping here on the Sleeve Did It channel. Comment below, let me know that you subscribed, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now, here's the story. I have lost the original intro and outro um, uh, portions of this video that you're going to see here. Um, in fact, right now it's April, um, towards the end of April, almost May. Um, but back on Black Friday, the you know, day after Thanksgiving, last year, 2021, I drove down to Maryland. I was originally going to uh, film the Perryville Outlet Center, but unfortunately, uh, it's nothing more than a parking lot literally it's just a slab <laughs> but i was undeterred i was like i'm going to still film content and that i did and i saw some more content coming from that trip and i may go back to uh maryland in the future i don't know I may have been out some places but at any rate um i had just finished filming security square mall that's a mall video that is uh, coming. It's gonna, I think it's gonna be different than the Security Square video mall videos that uh, you have seen from other creators. And nothing against them, I just see things differently. In other words, I'm a human being, just like you are. <laughs> but anyway, um, I did spot a Weiss Market. I've never he heard of them. I don't think I have, because we don't have them here in New Jersey, but uh, or at least part of New Jersey I'm in. And so I figured I'd uh, take a look-see and see what it's all about. And I'm glad I did. Because I have this footage here for you to see. And now we approach the front of the Weiss Market from where I parked my car. And if you see the, uh, the little red sign here with the numbers, that's the uh, gas prices at the Weiss Branded Gas Station, which is part of the Weiss property here. Man, I'd love to go back to those prices. <laughs> And those were high back then. <laughs> but at any rate, uh, we're walking into the front here, and it looks kind of plain on the outside, kind of like uh, um, any normal supermarket would on the outside. Nothing really special until you walk in. Um, once you walk in, you're going to see what I mean here. But first, I better get a basket. So let's look see where the baskets are. And well, you can't see them, but I can. I ah oh, oh, here it is. Here's one. Oh, good. Okay, now we walk in, and you got the uh, the deli and produce and uh, the bakery section over there. Wow, and it is just colorful. I mean, it it looks amazing in here, and that and that, and that's really uh. What you want to see when you walk into a supermarket you want to see it a colorful exciting looking i really don't like uh, um uh, some different uh, decors i've seen like pfh 3.0 and i mean i like um uh, acme's uh, quality built but they need more color some of the colors they're using is so just all that yellow and and a little bit of like tan or brown or whatever. It's clearly, clearly the yeah, the blue and the red and maroon and the greens and everything here is just so much nicer. And I was really uh, impressed with how uh, colorful and how bright the store is. It's a fairly uh, nice sized store. I mean. Nowhere near as big as the uh, Jersey City Acme, former Pathmark. But uh, fairly nice size store. A lot of, lot of stuff here. And so I'm just getting kind of a feel for where everything is here. Just kind of counting how many uh, aisles are here just to get an idea. It seems like every store now has those little uh, markers directly above the shelf or the cases that tell you, you know, what that is, whether it's milk or eggs or um, whatever it might be. So, I mean, they really, you know, like, that's not just an Acme thing, but these are all grocery stores these days are doing that. And we're at the 17th aisle. 
so it's not again not as big as say the uh, uh, former Pathmark uh, over in Jersey City that's now in Acme but it's not a tiny store it's nice and spacious uh, well laid out I really liked uh, you know the uh, the way it looked and everything in there and I like how the uh, the letters there for fresh bread you know different other departments uh, they kind of hang over a bit kind of gives a nice three-dimensional look to it and uh, I was almost tempted I was looking down uh, the floor tiles here the you can't see it right now I'm gonna see if they have uh, any magazines I don't have here hmm they have that issue of Mopar action. Um, so maybe, uh, I think I have that issue of Car Culture Deluxe. I'm not too sure. So, I look, you know, but when you look down towards the front end here, if I, if I looked at it, ooh, tasty cakes. You might see some squares down the tile, brown squares there. Okay, let's see if I look down. Yeah, right there. I was uh, wondering if this used to be a path mark. Cause remind, those brown squares remind me of uh, the path mark on um, uh, floor tile we saw in Jersey City. I seem to be comparing uh, a lot to the path mark there. I don't know why. I like that customer service uh, booth there. And this must have been the reading center. Like Acme had a reading center at, at the Milltown location. But now it's since been changed around. They moved the magazines over to where we just were. It's at this point that uh, I need to use the facilities. And my timing was excellent because uh, that guy just came out. And so uh, pardon me for a moment while I take the pause that refreshes. And had to go pick up my basket. Uh, don't worry, I washed my hands. <laughs> Anyhow. I was... Uh, Feel a little bit of the munchies coming on because I've been uh, all over uh, Maryland this day. This, is my, this was actually uh, the end of my trip through Maryland. And so I figured I'd go get uh, some kind of sustenance, but I didn't know what. So I checked the hot food area. And didn't know if I wanted to do sushi. I didn't know if I wanted to try their sushi first or maybe the wraps or sandwiches here. I think eventually I did uh, get some kind of sub or whatever. Kind of walked around and looked around. They had, they had a very uh, wide selection of anything you could uh, possibly get into. Wraps, sandwiches, subs, sushi, as I said before, like, you know, chicken. I mean, the variety was, uh, was great. Um, so whatever you were looking for, you pretty much could find it there. So I'm looking around, looking around, trying to make up my mind. And uh, I definitely figured I would try a donut from the, or a sweet from the uh, bake shop. I think I did decide on a donut. And I was looking, you know, looking around like, you know, what to get. Because I'm going to be eating in the car, so, uh, yeah. Well, hey, it's five years five years old. When it was when I bought it, when it was two years old, I would never eat in it. But now I've had the car for three years. I'm just gonna eat the thing. I don't care. <laughs> so I'm looking, seeing what I eat. and the donuts actually looked a lot like the Acme donuts. Gotta make sure you get the the bag and of course the uh, tissue paper because you know no one wants your germs. But they, they did look a lot like Acme Donuts. They didn't look anything like Zaley's. So I just uh, tried to pick something that looked okay enough. I don't know. I don't like them when they're too shiny looking. They looked fake that way to me. And I did have the donut, and it was it was okay. Not a Zaley's Donut. Nothing is Zaley's. Even the uh, leader of my recovery group uh, said Zaley's is much better than any other, any other donut. Except for McMillan's, by the way. And he's a diabetic. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, mean, I got the dessert. I better get the main course, right? So, I think I went and grabbed uh, 
I was gonna grab chicken, but I figured my hands be kind of greasy. And if I have to make a quick stop or an emergency turn or something on the highway, that would not go well. So I think I did. Uh, I think about the. Oh yeah, I did the wrap. Didn't I? Or did I do a sub? I think I did a sub. I would call it a hoagie, but it wasn't a hoagie. Remember, I'm from South Jersey. We have certain. Ooh, yeah. I think I did the box lunch thing. Kind of like how um, Agami does the little $6 box lunch deal. Like with a small hoagie, bag of chips, and uh, some, some cookies. Um, but uh, I will tell you, the sub in that little box, it was hurting. I'm sorry. It just wasn't what I was into. Now I went and got some iced tea. Went and got, I think I got yeah, Turkey Hill iced tea. And I like Snapple, but I also like Turkey Hill as well. But uh, turkey hill iced tea was good. The chips were okay. Um, but the the sandwich eh, wasn't what I was feeling that day. But at any rate, it was sustenance, and uh, I was able to drive on back to New Jersey. And uh, I was planning on getting this. Uh, video out to you much sooner than it did. You know, there's still some Christmas decorations because this was Black Friday when I went through here. But all in all, you know, my experience with this store uh, was pretty good. I would, If I lived in the area, I would shop here. Um, I might want to go back and try their fried chicken. Maybe that would have been a better option than the sandwich I had. And as always, I try to use the self-checkout wherever I can. So that way, uh, people don't notice the hidden camera. <laughs> and I'm off with my purchases and ready to uh, leave and go back to my car. But uh, at any rate, this was a you know, pretty well laid out store. And uh, again, I, I would shop here again if I lived in the area. And, you know, after I uh, got back to my car, I went to the Weiss gas station right there on the property. So I think they should put a sign up that says, get food, get gas. <laughs> but anyway, um, it was a good explore, and I'm glad you were able to come with me. Folks, if you like what you see on this channel, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, comment, uh, ring the bell, tell a friend. And uh, you guys have a great day out there. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. I can't believe I got in this place.